BMW M to 2020 for long-term test. Small, rear-driven coupe with a furious Turbo 6 arrives, on our fleet too much fanfare. Why we're running it, to celebrate the survival, and indeed evolution, of the proper sports coupe. Month 1, Specs. Life with a BMW M2, Month 1. Welcoming the BMW M2 to the fleet. Is it possible for a car to be at once gloriously minimalist and excessive and overgrown? Because somehow the BMW M2 that I will be running for the next few months feels like both. In an age when the BMW range has expanded to 17 models and is headlined by brash Teutonic Titans such as the X and XM, there's real throwback charm to the simplicity of a small two-door coupe. And yet this second generation M2 isn't as small or simple as its predecessor. It has grown notably in size and stance, such that it now feels more like a mini M3 than a descendant of the 1M coupe, which in a way it is. A quick recap, the previous to series coupe shared a rear wheel drive platform with the 1 series hatchback. But when the latter switched to front wheel drive, for commercial reasons, the only way the 2 series coupe could survive with a driven back axle was to switch to a specially shortened version of the Klar platform used by the 3 Series Saloon. Power still comes from a blown straight 6, but it's a newer, twin turbocharged unit tuned for 453 bhp, a hefty chunk more than the 405 bhp in the previous M2. The result is a model that's bigger and beefier in almost every aspect. However, the fact that the 2 Series Coupe, and by extension, the M2 survived, at all is a testament to BMW's continued passion for driver's cars. There's a reason why both the standard and M ranges are full of big SUVs, after all. And, as regular auto car readers will know, those engineers have nailed it. The M to scored four and a half stars in our road test, and has topped a group test of old school, real driven, manual shift sports cars. The base price of the M2 is now 60 to 1,000 for 120 pounds, which isn't exactly cheap. But then you would pay nearly double that for an XM, and if you did, you would have to deal with me questioning your life choices. And while M cars don't feature separate trim levels, you can get a bit lost adding on the various option packs. I plumped for the 730 pounds comfort pack, which adds heated seats and the like, the 1,100 pounds driving assistant package, the 2,305 pounds M driver's pack, and M alloy wheels 19 inches at the front, 20 in at the back at 330 pounds. BMW M to coupe specification. Specs, price new 60 to 1,000 for 120 pounds price, as tested 66,885 pounds options. M to comfort pack 730 pounds, 1920ths in M alloy wheels 330 pounds, Driving assistant 1,100 pounds, M drivers packed 1,305 pounds. Test data, engine power for 5.3 bhp at 6,250 revolutions per minute torque for 106 pounds feet. At 2,650 to 5,870 revolutions per minute, curb weight 1,725 kilograms, top speed 155 miles per hour. 177 with M drivers package, 0 to 62 miles per hour 4, 1 sec fuel economy, 28.8 mpg CO2 218 to 222 grams per kilometer, faults none expenses none. Those are the results of the tests we conducted, and that's all for this video, keep an eye out for other new videos, thank you.